vegan flip flops. Feel good. 100% vegan material. They're really nice. Incredible comfort that molds to your feet. Except $45 for a pair of flip flops doesn't make me feel so good. <laughs> They're nice 20 looking. 80% is fair trade, uh, the natural rubber. The other 80% is. Uh... Oh, I don't think I read that correctly. But <laughs> look, they have different options too. Oh, yeah. Well, that is. It, oh, that must be uh, this vegan is more leather. Um, yeah, the leather is. It's not leather. It's made for beets. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they do. I like these things. So comfy. Yeah, their clothing is nice and uh, heat friendly. Yeah, definitely. Very comfy looking. Kind of that bamboo material. What's in my bag? Sunscreen edition. <laughs> I'm really loving this mommy uh, sunscreen from Japan, the UV Aqua Milk. FYI, this has no alcohol in it. Fragrance free. It's probably, I'm really, I think this along with the Hadalabo are two of my favorites. And then I have this tinted color science shield that I just put on as well. So I've got. I've got uh, plain and tinted. <laughs> and then these are the lip SPFs I'm currently toting about. This is the Super Goop Lip Screen with great polyphenols. Um, it's pretty nice. It's uh, the only lip gloss I've ever come across that's truly glossy and has a decent sunscreen in it. And then this is one of my favorites, the Pacifica SPF 30 uh, Mineral Lip Balm, clear. Uh, this one's vegan, cruelty-free, water-resistant. Yeah, these and the Vanny Cream Lip Lip SPF were some of my favorite lip SPFs. Then, in the non-SPF realm, I also really enjoy this Neutrogena Hydro Boost Hydrating Lip Treatment. It's um, really, really conditioning and nice. And uh, the only thing I don't like about it is I wish that they they had it in some kind of squeezy tube because I don't like this little pot. Uh, but it lasts a long time. I also have this little tube of Aquaphor, but actually I've discovered that this, for whatever reason, irritates my lips. It just doesn't do a very good job, the Aquaphor, and I'm wondering if I haven't developed a sensitivity to the lanolin in this or something. I mean, it, that'd be easy for me to blame it on, but I think it's just not as good as the CeraVe Healing Ointment or Vaseline. Ooh, we got new, uh, we still need to get our reusable mugs, but uh, we got new cups here at Whole Foods. The Allegro Coffee. <laughs> How are you? Happy Sunday. Happy little breakfast. <laughs> oh, you got oatmeal this morning. Yes, I did. And there's all fruit on the bottom. Oh, yeah. With maple syrup and cinnamon. And then, of course, I always get one of these bad boys. Yeah, you like the fall. I do. No, no uh, vegan cookie today? No vegan chocolate? No, I'm You're, frustrating myself. You, uh, they, they can't compete with Lenny and Larry. Right? After Lenny and Larry, it's going to be hard to... I've never seen you throw a cookie again. in the trash like that. Oh, you've got a piece of oatmeal on your forehead. Oh, that's attractive. <laughs> it's uh, on your left temple. So on the bottom I have cauliflower and then I got this um, Mediterranean kale salad that they have that looks pretty good and then there's a little bit of quinoa edamame salad, some shredded rainbow carrots, the um, black sesame um, uh, wakame shake that I like, some dried blueberries and little sesame crackers. So that's what I'm having. <laughs> And yeah, my coffee. Is awesome. Yeah, you didn't. You said that you had just discovered those. Yeah, those always good in the bar. They don't always have them, but they're good. Yeah. I they're wonder really if good. they're sweetened or they're just dry. I'm not sure. Yeah, I don't think they are sweetened. I. That's the one thing. Uh, dried cranberries and tart cherries. They'll never. It's. It's very hard mm -hmm. to to get them to not put sugar in them. Costco has a tart cherry juice now. I've seen that, yeah. I've seen it, but it's delicious. Oh, yeah. It's really tart good. Tart cherry juice is good. But I'm sure it's got sugar in it. Yeah, it's, it's, it's high in sugar. Nat natural, naturally high in sugar. Hey, Tybee. Hey. Hey. Hey, did you miss us? You Do your downward dog, Tybee. Show everybody your yoga poses you were doing with me last night. 
Yeah, last night um, we transiently lost power for a few minutes and uh, so all the treadmills and ellipticals in my mom's gym were completely out of commission and it was in the evening time so all the, the daytime staff had gone home and they weren't able to reset them. So long story short, I ended up doing my workout in here. I did uh, several uh, YouTube Tone It Up videos and uh, Ty B joined me. He was doing his little downward dog. Yeah, he, he, he does that every morning. Yeah. He does his downward dog stretch. Yeah. It's cute. I yeah. guess, is that where that name comes from? I think so, yeah. I get inspired by. Come on, Ty. And he's going out for his walk Come on, now. <laughs> walk about. Come on, sugar. Let's go. Hi. They have dog, uh, doggy yoga groups, you know, where you can come with your dog and do yoga, that might be fun to do. Well, I think they have that in the park. But. Where are we going to go to that cat cafe? Where yeah, I don't think we're going to take Ty B there. No, no, we can't take him. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know how much of a cat lover Ty B would Maybe be. Maybe you would adopt a cat. Yeah, there's not a good area around here to, to access to run outside, um, so I ended up doing, doing some toning videos, which was actually kind of fun, so I did... Um, Two hit routines and a and a triceps a triceps one by tone it up. But so yesterday we had the um, NMNL box and today we have my mom's Walmart beauty box came yesterday. So I'll show you guys what's in it. It's not as good as it was last time in my opinion. All right, so it looks like I always like they do a kind of a nice job putting the box together though. They put this pretty little paper in here. First, she got an Acai Berry Revitalizing Sleeping Mask. This is by the brand S-O-O-A-E. It, I'm just gonna assume, has fragrance in it. But it also has, what else? What, anything salient? Oh yeah, lavender, that's not good to put on your face. Peppermint, ooh, this, this is a rosacea nightmare right here. But it does have niacinamide in it, so if it didn't have all of this other garbage in it, then it could be kind of like the Hadalaba one, but. Oh, not only does it have niacinamide, but it also has licorice root extract in it. So this would be brightening, but they put those irritants in there. So no bueno, <laughs> says Debbie Downer. Then she also got, oh, these are handy. The Plackers Micro Mint Freshens Breath, little dental floss pick things. These, unfortunately, do not work well for me. I have a really hard time getting those uh, back in my molar area, but some people swear by these. So I think my mom will end up using them. And then it looks like they gave her a coupon as well for save 35 cents. Oh dear, we got another another Dove exfoliating body polish. My mom and I used the one that I got in my FabFit Fun Box. Um, I used it's basically two two servings as if it's food. It's it's basically you get like two uses out of this. Um, but uh, I think this is the same fragrance that I got. Um, it's it's nice, but definitely not something I would buy. <laughs> and my mom has already verbalized that she does not like this Jergens Natural Glow Wet Skin Moisturizer. Uh, she says it leaves the shower, the tub, like really greasy and slippery. I've never used it myself. When I was in college, though, I used to use Jergens. Yeah, I that's what I used, you know, when I was in college. <laughs> um, before I was a dermatologist and it wasn't cool to to rock a tan, I used to use the Jergens Sunless Tanner, and I always really liked it and thought it did a good job. I've never used any of these fancy high-end ones that you can get at Sephora, like uh, the Saint Tropez one that's supposed to be really good, or like the mousses and stuff like that. But um, I always liked the Jergens one. I mean, the active ingredients are all the same, um, so they're formulated differently. Some, you know, I think give a more even application, but. Back in the day, the Jergens one always, always, I was always pleased with it. I mean, um, anyways, then I'm pretty sure my mom will not use this. Um, what is this? The foam can, oh, it's a conditioner. She might actually use that. I thought it was going to be a mousse. She may actually use that. Um, if she doesn't use that, I bet this would be really good as a shaving cream. And then it looks like she got a Aveeno Daily Moisturizing Yogurt Body Wash, Vanilla and Oats. I do like Aveeno, but you know, fragrance is kind of, kind of a no-no for shaving. Apply by hand and rich shaving one. Oh, that's good. They're recommending using this uh, as a barrier for shaving as well. 
Great. And does she get a Pantene coupon? No, just a little, just a little advert. <laughs> but the boxes themselves, just the box, really useful for gift giving purposes, you know, to, to put a gift in here and, and wrap it up, really handy. the rest of these stickers that I have and I don't know it seems like kind of a shaft I only get eight girls night in stickers but I need 365 of them can you make that happen create 365 that's what your name is I need 365 of these but preferably smaller <laughs> I guess and yeah a sticker that says yes is not really <laughs> anything that speaks that's you me. when you find the uh, bean chips yeah. <laughs> but look at these cute My Neighbor Totoro stickers that um, one of you all sent me. They're really adorable. I'm, I like them so much, but I don't want to use them. This reminds me of my childhood. I'd get something like this, and I'd just want to hoard it because it's so cute, and I'd be really selective about when I used it. That's how I'm going to be with this. So I did order a new planner. I'm not going to tell you guys what planner I ordered, but stay tuned. I will be revealing that soon. I'm pretty excited for it. My planner, I've been really good. I got this planner a year ago. It's been fantastic. I highly recommend it. It is the Day Design Day Designer by Blue Sky. Um, they're like 12 bucks at Target. They're really good. My problem with this one, though, is I've kind of outgrown it size-wise. I document everything in there. Schedule, budgeting. Now there's just not enough room. I'm actually, I actually have things that I write consistently that I need, that I need to, uh, to do on there. Appointments when things are due. Yeah, I like writing things down. I don't like keeping things as a to-do list electronically. I was wondering, is it okay to have kombucha with food? Yeah. Well, well, it's not like a drinking age. You know, you don't, okay. they're, they're not rules and regulations. Well, I just was, I didn't know if it if interferes, with, interferes with the probiotics. I think it's probably okay. That's a good flavor, that pineapple. Yes. Pineapple one? It's my favorite. Pineapple, oh, pineapple peach. Yeah, yeah that's, that's really, really good. good. And it's the Master Brew one. The Master Brew. Which I don't know what what's different about that. That stuff is good. More bugs in it. That stuff is really good. It is. You're having uh, mixed greens. Uh -huh. My mom made this, uh, she sliced up, you sliced up cucumbers and just put hemp seeds on the cucumbers. Yeah, with some apple cider vinegar, it was delicious. Yeah, and the, and the hemp seeds 
soaked up some of the liquid from the cucumber and the apple cider vinegar and they it kind of swelled up a little bit and when i first saw it i thought did she put cheese on the cucumbers that's not vegan <laughs> yeah because it looked like feta cheese yeah it looked like feta cheese oh you're having some chickpea yeah these are so good yeah your vegan vegan cheese yes, cheese noodles mushrooms tomatoes and sweet potatoes. Oh, and you got some kidney beans in there too. Yeah. Yeah, falling on olives chopped up in the salad would make it sort of like almost like putting anchovies on the Caesar yeah. salad, probably. I like that, and um, also, you know, I love the roasted red pepper. Time to eat, y'all. <laughs> Hey guys, what's up? I just finished up at the gym. I'm obviously back home. Got out of the shower. Putting a little CeraVe healing ointment here on my lips. Skincare update are empty. I finished my first bottle of the Cosrx Ultimate Nourishing Rice Overnight Spa Mask. I will definitely be repurchasing this bad boy. Thank you guys so much for this recommendation. I definitely see um, a brightening effect with the, and I attribute it to the niacinamide in this. But this as a just as a face moisturizer I have been really loving I was very resistant to believe that it would be useful but I um, you know was motivated to use it a it's pretty affordable B you guys recommended it and so I wanted to review it for you all and C you know it's fragrance free minimal irritating ingredients and I really wanted to give K Beauty another another college try and I really got to say Causer X They've got some good, they've got some good and promising skincare products. So I'm definitely reordering this from iHerb. Speaking of your recommendations, another one that um, you all um, in Europe recommended to me, um, kind of around the time when I was doing some of my favorite facial moisturizers, talking about moisturizing ingredients, ceramides, how much I love them, and reviewing a lot of the CeraVe products that we have here in the US. People were asking me at the time, you know, you guys asked me it to review many skincare brands. I think one of the most alarming things, sorry to sidetrack, about doing YouTube is you come to appreciate, even more so than being in dermatology, you come to appreciate how insanely expansive skincare marketing is and how how many skincare products there are out there. I mean, it is, it is alarming how many different brands of, of skincare products, moisturizers, there are constantly being churned out it's really it's really alarming and you know always kind of gives me pause like this is a you know an insane environmental burden if anything and are people really using all of this stuff um can we pare it down but um you all alerted me to this brand which you know i want to say i saw them at like a meeting that i went to you know in the the trade hall at one point pharmaceris this is a brand in europe that is, I guess, kind of like medical, medical grade skincare formulated by a pharmacist, I think in Poland. And at first I was like, I've never heard of that. And then I Googled it and I was like, oh yeah, I think I've seen that at one point. And I ended up, I don't know, I have a list of these brands you guys recommend. I ended up just randomly a couple of months ago, Googling it, came on their site and a lot of their products really looked promising to me. So I believe it was this moisturizer you guys um, were really like, asking me to review it is their multi-lipid nourishing face cream and so I purchased it um, a couple of months ago uh, f first I saw it on lovely skin which was an authorized dealer but then they no longer carry this particular moisturizer they still carry the brand um, so I ended up getting it on Amazon and I've been using it instead of my CeraVe at nighttime as a facial moisturizer and I've really been liking it a lot I'm gonna review it for you guys this week who are asking for it so stay tuned. I think the most alarming thing though, or you know, what I have the biggest problem with this is, is it's incredibly expensive. But I don't know, maybe in Europe it's a little bit more affordable. Sometimes that's the case. Like a lot of our La Roche-Posay products here are really expensive, but they end up being really affordable in Europe. So on Amazon, it was like 30 bucks. Um, so I wasn't, you know, that's not necessarily something that I would shell out for on an ongoing basis. But I've really been liking this a lot. Um, so stay tuned for my review for those of you guys, so those of you all who were asking for me to review it. But comment below, they have some other stuff um, on like Lovely Skin and Amazon that I came across just and also on their website that I was sort of intrigued by. They have like a cleansing lotion, a, a face wash that 
wasn't insanely expensive. I think it was like 20 bucks and it seemed really no nonsense. All of their products are very eczema friendly, very rosacea friendly, very um, sensitive skin friendly. They also have a line of acne products. So uh, those of you who recommended this pharmacist, comment below on, you know, if there's anything more because I've been happy with this. I'll review it for you, like I said, later this week. Um, I don't have a problem with it aside from the price. A little too steep uh, but yeah comment below on what what else from this pharmacist you you all are interested in because there was some stuff on there that really like piqued my interest so yeah you guys are you guys are making good recommendations zabs it bha face wash this bad boy i mean but so far i've been really happy with it not had a problem with it been using it in the evening um so thank you guys for recommending that and the Cause RX one. Really good products that I've been happy with so far. Um, I'm wearing my Old Navy PJs I got the other weekend. And we're getting like some thunder and lightning outside, which is kind of making me nervous. I'm always apprehensive I'm gonna lose internet connection. <laughs> and uh, you know, then my whole mind is completely thrown off. Like what am I supposed to do? Just sit in here and twiddle my thumbs? I have good books to read. Thank God for books. I mean, honestly, they can really get you through get you through um, a lot in life. <laughs> but anyways, guys, I hope you enjoyed the vlog today. Thank you so much for all of your support and comments and enthusiasm for, for everything. We have some fun videos this week, um, skincare reviews and vlogs. So stay tuned for all of it. But if you like this video, give it a thumbs up, share it with your friends. And as always, don't forget, sunscreen and subscribe. I'll talk to you guys tomorrow. Bye. Bye.